Hey guys, I'm back with a report on my frozen shoulder. I saw my shoulder doctor yesterday, the specialist, and um, he basically, you know, took my arm and jerked it around and <laughs> asked me, does this hurt and does that hurt? And um, tried to see like how much motion I had and he did with the same with this. And um, they both are frozen shoulders. This one was in the freezing stage. But since I've been using it more, I'm getting a lot more motion and I don't have a lot of inflammation in it. And it basically just hurts if I, you know, I get this shock if I um, move it the wrong way, lay on it wrong, stuff like that. Um, so this one's obviously not as bad as this one. You know, this one I can't, I'm starting to be able to raise it more. He gave me a cortisone injection to get the inflammation down. And what he basically said was, I just need to wait. <laughs> He said it's 8 to 12 months for recovery. Um, the cortisone is to get the inflammation down so that I can start doing physical therapy because he said if I, he just set me right now, that would be torture. And those were his words. And I thought, you know, wow, that was great to have somebody to actually understand the kind of pain I'm in. And what he said was, he said, you know, because when I was moving your arm around like that, that was just torture. And, and that would be the same thing if we didn't do the cortisone injection. So he gave me a cortisone injection. And the inflammation is coming down a little bit. It's still um, numb, so I'm not having as much pain because they use a numbing medication. So um, the next step is to do my physical therapy twice a week and try to get it moving again. He said he can't do the anesthetic manipul manipulation, which is where they knock you out and they take your arm and they move it all over and just pop all those ligaments and stuff that are frozen because of all the inflammation. So. He said, if he did that while well, I'm in this much pain, it's inflamed. He said, well, you know, your arm would be able to move in every direction for a week, but then you'd be in so much pain and it would just freeze up again, even worse than it already is. And then we'd be right back at the beginning. So they don't do that when you have a lot of inflammation and pain. So um, for you, if you're wondering, you know, if you have this, it's called adhesive capsulitis or frozen shoulder. And it's where you just start losing movement in your arm and it will just get to the point where you can't like even, you know, reach behind you anymore. Like me, I can't even um, reach my waist. It, it's that hard. And if I tried to do this too fast and jerked it, it would just be pain and it shoots all the way down your arm and it takes like 10 minutes for it to go away. And then when I wake up in the morning, I can't even, like, I have to take my other arm and move this one because it hurts so bad. I just want to cry. It's it's awful. So yeah, you don't want to get to that point. If your shoulders start getting where it hurts right here because it's rubbing on the bone and you can't move it or lift it, see your doctor right away. Because I waited about four months and it was probably too long. <laughs> I'm pretty stubborn about seeing doctors. So... Those are my results for my frozen shoulder and I'll give you an update on how the cortisone is working and hopefully I won't have a flare like I'm having with my back right now because that is, is just terrible. You don't even want to go through what I'm going through with my back right now. <laughs> so have a great day and I'll see you on my next video.